So far in our discussion of regularization, we've looked at artificial neural networks. We've looked at dropout, we've looked at L1 and L2 regularization, and we've also looked at data augmentation. But that's for neural networks. What I want to show you now is how our nervous system works to show that we actually can do regularization on our nervous system. And in this case, we're going to look shortly at a video on treating Parkinson's disease. And Parkinson's disease is a movement disorder control uh, malfunction. So what happens if I need to pick this pen up? It's very easy to do. No problem. Somebody with Parkinson's disease, as they come to pick up the pen and try to correct their misplaced hand movement, the hand starts swinging, then they try to overcorrect that, then it starts to swing even further. And you'll see this in the video. At the end, they apply brain stimulation, so I'll fast forward uh, electrically, and the person can actually write again and uh, do movements in a normal way. So the roughness in the control has been smoothed out, if you like, by a regularization on the nervous system network control by the deep brain stimulation. Oh, what happened? My link. What we are going to see now is a video of a Parkinson patient. And I'm going to look at the patient at two different times in the video, at 40 seconds and at 146 seconds. So that's 2 minutes and 26 seconds. And the first uh, piece is going to be where there's no nervous regularization, if you like. And he's going to have a lot of trouble controlling the movements, especially as they get finer. And then I'll move to the second part of the video, we won't watch the whole thing, where he's given brain stimulation and asked to repeat the task. Now you could see that as he brought the little bottle of pills to his mouth to pretend drinking, that his hand was shaking. And then he was asked to write something. And you could see when he picked up the pen and put it on the paper, there was a lot of tremor. So that means that the control system involving the cortex, the cerebellum, and the basal ganglia are not properly interconnected to mitigate any overshooting of the movements. This is classic uh, Parkinsonian movement when you have these tremors. Now let's look at what happens later in the video where we show brain stimulation and the same task when the brain is stimulated. Don't drink it. See? All right, good. Now I'm going to ask you to make a... So you can see that after brain stimulation, the patient was able to do the task as a normal person could do it. What's happened is the brain stimulation has probably saturated some neural connections with the extra either electricity, either saturated or deconnected them uh, chemically. And so it would be an example of what we saw as regularization dropout. 